Welcome on this early morning day. In this video, I will be adjusting the drive belt on the 2021 Can Am Spider F3T. I just bought this Can Am Spider. It's a 2021 F3T model. It has exactly 169 miles on it. So to give you a little background on what's going on and why I have to adjust the drive belt, the other day I'm on the highway and I noticed that 49 miles an hour, it starts to make a loud, I want to call it a hum noise. And at 50 it gets louder and 51 it goes away. It's actually pretty loud and overwhelms the stereo system. So upon further inspection of this bike, after I started making that noise, I noticed the drive belt, let's say, is misaligned. All right, this is your drive belt, and this is your front pulley. It's up against the outside of the pulley. So what's happening is the drive belt is hitting the side of the pulley. And that's what I believe is causing all that noise at 50 miles an hour. If you look at the pulley, you can tell the belt's not centered. Because if you look here to the right side, it's not hitting over there. But it's clean all the way up against the left side. Well, we're going to go ahead and adjust this belt. Basically, you have a nut on each side that needs to be loosened for the rear axle. And then these are your adjustment screws or Allen head screws to adjust the wheel or adjust the belt. So on the right side, there's your nut that we're gonna loosen. So this is the nut on the right side that we're gonna attempt to loosen. And this is another adjustment screw on the right side. And this is a 36 millimeter nut. I don't have a 36 millimeter wrench to get in here. All I have is a socket. It's tight, but it's doable. Now we gotta loosen that. Now you just want to loosen that nut just enough so you can adjust this. Don't take it completely off. Now we're going to go ahead, start the bike up. Now when you do this, you might see brake failure, you might see ABS on. The system's going to go a little haywire when uh, you do this because the wheel's off the ground. And that front wheels ain't moving. So we're going to go ahead and start it up. Put it in gear, first gear, and just let it roll. Be careful when you're doing this, because the wheel's spinning, don't get your hands anywhere near that tire. Now, I'm looking at the back pulley. That belt does not look bad back here. I'm going to adjust that by turning this a quarter turn only. Now, I just checked it. Still needs a little bit more. Now, I'm going to turn this another quarter of a turn. I'm just eyeballing it, but that looks good. A little more space in between the edge there. The rear sprocket flange in the belt should be no more than 3 sixteenths. It's actually right within limits. It's under 3 sixteenths. So that's good. That is beautiful. And once you think you're done with everything, Go ahead and talk this bad boy to 166 foot pounds. <coughs> to talk that down, we are going to need something to hold this nut on this side. If not, that'll keep spinning. I'm going to put the caps back on. And put the other cap back on. Now that everything's tight, I am going to run this one more time. Take this on the road, see what she feels like. All these colds and stuff should clear up once I start riding this bike. You 
guys hear that noise? 48, 49, 50 gets really loud. 51. Something's not right. I don't like that. I wasn't making that noise when I bought this damn thing. It only started a few miles ago. I'm taking it to the dealer. I'm gonna let them look at it. Tell me what they think. I'll let you know what they say when I uh, get back. I still say it's got something to do with the pulleys. Anyway, the belt's adjusting. And I'm good to go. get in trouble <laughs> I gotta tell you it's a fun toy you all take care God bless I'll see you in the next one bye bye